U.S. child poverty has tripled over the past few years, which, by the way, child poverty should not be an expression that any of us have ever heard in yeah. one of the richest countries in the world. There should be zero child poverty. When you say it, people should be like, what, what, what does that mean? Right. And I just like to say that we cannot remove this information from the fact that we just gave Israel $24.5 billion to bomb children. These issues are inextricably linked. It is interconnected forms and systems of oppression. Again, this is Stephen Semler, who, again, does, <clears throat> does great work on this issue. This also shows that it doesn't matter who's in the White House. Y'all know if you've, if, you've, if you've hung out with me before, you know that I don't. I don't hang with electoralism. Like that's not my thing. I think that it's it's essentially just ridiculous, um, and it's a way to keep <laughs> I don't, us. I, don't, I believe the kids. Uh, the expression the kids use is "fuck with." I don't fuck with electoralism. <laughs> sure, whatever. And I think that it's a way to keep us, you know, like distracted from the more important things, like the fact that three times as many children are now living in poverty in the United States, which this these numbers have skyrocketed under a Democrat. Okay. Like, do you want blue fascism or do you want red fascism? Like, what color, what flavor would you like? Mm -hmm. And again, like, this is inextricably linked to what's happening with regards to the U.S. foreign policy and, of course, domestic policy that funds prisons and not schools and et cetera, et cetera. The Census Bureau attributes this increase in poverty since 2021 to the expiration of pandemic era anti-poverty programs. For example, the child tax credit lifted 2.4 million people out of poverty in 2023, but the expanded child tax credit moved 5.3 million people above the poverty line in 2021. The expanded version expired in 2022 because I guess people aren't poor anymore. So fuck yeah, it. No, like there, there's zero poverty. I don't, people don't know this about America. We uh, we got rid of it. And so well, Stephen has pretty I'm pretty excited about that. Stephen has this great graph that also shows like uh, the enhanced coverage that people might have been able to access during the pandemic. And I say might have because, and I did a, a lot of research specifically on the eviction ban and found that, for instance, the eviction ban was not a ban at all. It was barely a, like a stay of execution for most people. There were a few more hoops that you might have to jump through as a landlord, but you could still throw people out on their ass, especially because most people did not have the information necessary to fight back. So a lot of these measures, these anti-poverty measures were not accessible to people. So even though like, you know, you had these, a lot of people weren't able to get them, but they've all ended, you know, like the student loan pause. Of course, we've heard about that. The Medicaid expansion, extra food stamp benefits, free school meals, which why the hell wasn't that a thing forever? For, yeah, like for, why forever. The are kids paying for school lunches? You uh, psychos. Uh, like with almost all this stuff, it's like, why is this not just permanent? And of course this riffing on the free school thing, the free school meal, a lot of kids go hungry during the summer because there's no school. What the shit is like, that is horrific and should not be the case in the richest country in the world, obviously. So it's like even these quote unquote, like enhanced coverage measures, not only were they not accessible to everyone and not enough, but they fucking ended. And so kids are hungry. They're poor. They're experiencing homelessness, which no human should experience, but certainly no child. And this is all at the same time that we're sending billions and billions of dollars to facilitate an ongoing genocide. And those two things cannot be delinked. They are inextricably linked because of the fascistic empire that is the United States. Well said. From 2022 to 2023, the number of Americans in poverty increased 5%. From 41 million to 43 million, pressed as a share of the total population, U.S. poverty rate increased from 12.4 to 12.9 percent. But among children, the poverty rate has increased from 12.4 to 13.7, which if you look over the past few years, like it dipped to five in 2021. And yet all these idiots in our government who are completely bought off have done everything they can to make sure this did not stay down to five percent. We want to get we get that number of but children in poverty up a little more. Yeah. I thought this was a, a good thing to just follow. Just, just, just unrelated to the childhood poverty is 
through the roof in the United States. Uh, Zuckerberg just bought a three hundred million dollar Russian super yacht. Is it important that it's Russian? I mean, <laughs> just just throwing that out there. As kids starve in America, Zuckerberg also, bought a three hundred million dollar boat. It's a boat, it also, and it's three hundred thirty million dollars, and it comes with an extra boat inside of it. Well, you need somewhere to park your boat. <laughs> you got to park your boat in your boat. You got to park your yacht in your yacht. Yeah. He recently did like this whole uh, speech about climate change and how we have to do more about it. And I'm yeah, like, these things are. You're in a floating fucking city, you dumbass. Like, these, how dare you? These super yachts are like <laughs> the worst thing in the world for the environment because they're just like it's all diesel. Like it's just crazy. It's like thousands of dollars an hour of just diesel. But yeah, the, you know, child poverty highest yeah. highest has been in years. Tripled in the past three years. Zuckerberg bought a $300 million yacht. I really hope there are some whales out there that have gotten this information. Oh, yeah, the orcas. I'm hoping the orcas are going to handle this. Yeah. Team orca. It'll be really great. 